And speaking of some legal advice, we are in luck because this week lawyers are taking over our action line department. And here to tell us more about today's topic, traffic court vehicle violations, is attorney Cameron Holm. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, you got some frequently asked questions that people want to know about. Like, if I get a traffic citation, is it possible to get it dismissed by correcting that violation? Yes, actually it is possible. For example, if you were to get cited for a tint violation, mm -hmm. you can request a court date, you can go to court, you can bring in proof that you've corrected the violation, and after discussing it with the prosecutor, they can actually dismiss the case. Further, if you have a hectic schedule mm -hmm. and you haven't had the opportunity to correct the violation, you can talk to the prosecutor, request a little bit more time, and they may give you some more time. That saves you a lot of money right there. All right, the next question is, is it true that if I'm nice to the police officer, he or she may let me go? What, can I, what, what I can tell you is this. From experience, what I've seen is if you are unnecessarily rude or difficult with the police officer at the incident after being pulled over, it gives them an extra incentive to show up to court and to ensure that you're prosecuted. So my best advice is there's no sense, there's no... Um, there's no need to be difficult with the police officer. Uh, your time to argue, uh, whatever you want to argue, will be in court. So just say, yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I'll see you in court. Absolutely. Hopefully they'll let you go, maybe. Yeah. All right, next question is, what should I do if I've been pulled over and believe that I have a legitimate excuse to a traffic violation? If you are pulled over and you believe you have a legitimate excuse, don't be afraid to speak to the officer. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell them about your explanation. Furthermore, ask them to document that ex explanation in the ticket. When you go to court, the prosecutor and the judge, they'll actually have a copy of that ticket. So if you provide the explanation in court, it gives your argument a little more credence if it's the same explanation that you had in the ticket. All right, next question is, I received a traffic ticket. How do I know if I'm being charged with a crime? That's a good question because some of these moving violations, some of them are traffic infractions, some of them are actual crimes. So one good way is after you receive the citation, you look at the citation number. If the prefix starts with one DTI, mm -hmm. it's an infraction. However, if it starts with one DTC, then it is a crime. Um, in that case, my best advice is to contact an attorney to help you navigate that situation. Okay. Next question is, I have a court date. How long should I expect the proceedings to last? This is something that I hear um, from a lot of people that arrive to court, especially for the first time. Uh, likely your court date, um, the court time will be 8.30 in the morning. And when you arrive, you'll look at the court calendar outside the courtroom, and you'll see that there may be 100 people all scheduled for 8.30. So to be safe, I would block off your schedule till about noon because you don't know when your case is going to be called. You don't know how long the people that will take uh, before you. Best advice to people out there that get a traffic citation? Be, be straight with the cop. Um, be polite. Again, like I mentioned before, your time to argue will be in court. Uh, no sense in ruffling any feathers with the police officer. And how many of your friends come to you now since you're, you're like, hey, Cameron, can you take care of this? Yeah, I wish I could tell you. There's a lot of them. We've got a, new, a lot of new friends these days. <laughs> All right, once again, legal experts will offer free advice today as part of our Action Line Law Week. Topics to today, of course, is traffic court and motor vehicle citation. All you got to do is call 591-0222 from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And, of course, you see what's coming up on Thursday as well as Friday for Family Law. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Very much. Very useful information there. Just Thank be you. nice to the police officer.